some really great news and the number one thing i want to just let you guys know is to trust in the lord no matter what especially if you believe that god has um i wouldn't say promised but if he at the very least told you about something which i guess you could call a promise but you know today was a really special and interesting day because there's this girl that i've been trying to um well i believe that god um is trying to let me know that this is supposed to be my future wife and so i tried to get in contact with her and um you know a day went by then two days went by three days went by and then yeah, with each day that went by, I was starting to be more anxious, more doubtful, and I was just so convinced that God had told me this was the girl that uh, is meant for me. And I was very confused, and, you know, I was telling my friends about, um, you know, things, and it just, uh, there was a time where I was very, starting to get very doubtful. I went from being, like, very optimistic to a little doubtful to I ended up having a ton of doubt, and uh, really impacted my mental health and all that, to pretty much guaranteed that this was a sign from God and this is all meant to be. And um, throughout all this, I just, I really had no other choice but to truly believe and have faith and hope and trust in God that, you know, he would follow through on the things that I believe he told me about. And, um, you know, that there was just a lot of things that I wasn't so sure if, like there was things that I just kind of came up with in my own head or these were messages from God. And, um, you know, I am new to uh, discerning the difference between my own voice and uh, the Holy Spirit. So, but yeah, today I, to my surprise, I finally heard from her and I was, you would think I would just <laughs> low key borderline be bawling my eyes out from joy and happiness. And I don't know, my reaction was, I was just in like such disbelief because I really wasn't sure when or if I would ever hear from this girl. And I figured, oh, you know, uh, I'm willing to wait till New Year's. Cause that's, I asked God if, you know, he could bless me with um, my future wife um, by New Year's time. I'm not saying that I'm married by then and all that, but you know, like to get get things rolling i don't typically ask god for such specific things like this and by a certain date and all that and um because you know god's timing is god's timing and you know i just asked if that would be possible but you know obviously god knows everything and i don't so <laughs> i really wasn't sure how this would all play out let alone whether i'd even ever hear from her because like yeah you know how that kind of stuff can go so yeah i mean there's still a lot of unknowns and stuff in terms of like maybe she has a boyfriend or maybe she's not interested in all sorts of things and um you know i really prayed and trust in the lord that you know he's gonna allow things to progress smoothly from here and we'll just i just put my trust in him because like you know it's really tempting for me to try and to shoulder all that responsibility and all that all on my own um but i realized how complicated finding a good match is for you know a loving relationship and it is really tough to find someone who's very compatible with you let alone um you know making sure things play out in a good way um like, I would imagine it's not very difficult to really screw things up by saying something that, uh, you know, either comes across as offensive or just really rocks the boat. And, um, you know, it's a lot that you could stress over and stuff and, you know, worrying about if your hair looks good enough or, you know, little insecurities you may have and whatnot. But if the person's like really into you and stuff, they're not going to really be all that fixated on any little imperfection or any little mess ups you have. But still, you know, humans are so complicated. Uh, let alone in loving relationships like that. So, yeah, you know, I'm really just putting my trust and faith and hope in God with all this. And um, the lesson from this whole experience is that, you know, I knew from other experiences with God that, you know, you have to really hold out even when things seem really bleak because uh, honestly things weren't looking good. Um, you know, a week is a really long time not to hear back from someone. And so, I mean, I had never even heard from her like ever. So I wasn't sure if I was even ever going to hear from her. Uh, but I just had to hold on to faith, trust and hope with God and trust that he would at least allow me to to get to know her a bit and so it seems like that may very well be what's happening now finally and um yeah you know it just i think today especially i was starting to really it was just really tough to hold on to that rope of faith and hope and trust in god and i was i was just kind of accepting defeat in many ways and just being like you know i don't know when this is gonna happen if it's gonna happen but i just trust i just have to like i just have to trust in god and um you know i don't know why today specifically i got to hear back from her but um wow what a blessing from god i thanked him so many times today um but the most grateful i've ever been in my entire life is when um jesus spared me from you know the darkness also known as um you know the path to hell basically and uh, that was my testimony video the first video on this channel so give that a watch if you haven't already because uh, i had never been more grateful in my entire life to exist and for anything ever so yeah you know today i was really grateful and happy and excited but it's so like different than what I was expecting to feel like. Um, I was very excited, but not like nervous or anything really. At first I was kind of like, oh my goodness, what do I say to her? And uh, you know, I don't know. I don't really feel all that nervous about it. Just 
trying to be myself and all that and um you know it would be really crazy if if this is actually the girl that i end up marrying oh my goodness wow that would make for quite the um <laughs> quite the journey that's for sure so you know there's still a lot of unknowns and it's really easy for me to to start doubting things but i mean i feel like god at the very least allowed things to to you know play out in the way that they have so far for a reason and you know i just trust in him that you know i really believe that he's trying to let me know this is the person i'm meant to marry and um you know i'm just gonna be trusting in that so uh, i'll keep you guys posted and uh you know obviously i'm not going to be sharing any real details of anything because uh, this is very personal and stuff but um you know i think the the moral of the story here is really important and worth sharing so yeah trust in the lord with all your heart and soul i know it can be really tough sometimes because you know you're either, you're either really impatient or you know things aren't looking good but you just gotta really really trust in him and don't don't let go of that rope and he'll come through you know so i hope you'll have a blessed day